Are you tired of time consuming and costly paper forms? Well, let me show you how to create your own electronic form for free with JotForm. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And as you can see, I'm currently in the electronic forms landing page at JotForm.com. So if you have any other questions outside of this video, make sure you come back to this landing page for more information. Now, one of the greatest things about JotForm is it is no code. So all it is is a really simple drag and drop features to build the form that you want for you and for your business. Now, another great thing is JotForm has over 10,000 templates that you can choose from. So if you're really not sure where to start, you can always visit our template gallery. Or if you know exactly how you want yours to look, you can always start from scratch. Now for this example, I'm going to go ahead and utilize one of the templates that's on the screen. Let's go ahead and use this animal shelter template. And one of the first things I like to do whenever I'm utilizing a template is I always want to take a quick scroll just to see what I'm working with. So we can see we have their first and last name, email, donation amount, comments, and then if they'd like to be included on our mailing list. Now, one thing I wanna make sure I do is I want to make sure that my user fills out every single one of these questions. So I'm gonna come down to the very bottom question and I'm gonna choose Command Shift and I'm gonna click that very last question and we can see that we have a little toolbar that pops up across the top. I'm gonna to go ahead and require all of these. We now have the red asterisk. Now, if you only want to choose one question at a time, we can right click and we can unrequire, or we can choose the properties gear and we can make it required in our panel on the right hand side. Now, if there's anything that you need to add to this form that is not there, over on the left hand side, we have our add form elements and we have basics, we have payments and we have widgets. So within our basic setting, you have a lot of different options. So we can even add in their address. Maybe we want to mail them a postcard. We can turn that on as required. And we also have the ability to upload files. If maybe you're needing some type of a receipt or something like that, you can always add that in. And we have some ratings. We have a star rating and a scale rating. But since we are collecting donations, this is a donation form. And while we do have the donation amount right down here, you can even add in a payment gateway. So if I choose the payment options, we have over 30 payment options to choose from. So for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and choose Stripe. You can see that our integration popped up. So I'm going to go ahead and connect. And right down here, we have the payment type. So right now it's currently on sell products or services, but we can also change this to subscriptions, a user defined amount, or collect donations, which is what we're looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose collect donations and we can choose to save. So right here, it says my products. We can change this to be donation amount, perfect. And again, we wanna make sure that this one is required because it is a donation form. And since we added this right here, we can go ahead and get rid of the donation amount right down here. Perfect. Now, another thing that we can do is we can make this fit our brand. So maybe our color isn't blue. Maybe it's more of a green or yellow, right? We can make this fit exactly how we want it to be. All right, perfect. Now, if you have a picture that you would like to include, you can add that into the overall page image right back here. And if you wanna change the font, we can do that in the style section. Maybe we want it to be Roboto. Perfect, everything is now changed and we are good to go. Next, let's go ahead and head up to the top middle section. We have our settings tab. And over on the left-hand side, we have some different emails that we can choose from. If you would like to edit what your autoresponder looks like, this is going to be the email that your users receive after they filled out your form. If you would like to edit that, we can come in here and we can add or take away anything from this email. Again, over on the left, we also have our condition. So if you would like to add in some conditional logic to maybe show a field or hide a field, depending on what your users answer, we can do that here as well. Another great thing is the thank you page. We can edit how that thank you page looks. Maybe instead of a thank you page, maybe you want to redirect them to your animal shelters website. You can do that right here. And again, over on the left, if you would like to integrate this form with some of your favorite apps, you can do that. If you would like your submission to go to Trello, Google Drive, Dropbox, we can do that here as well. So let's head up to our publish option. Now, again, if you do have your own website, you can also embed it in your website with the embed option. We can copy this code and we can paste this into our 
our website. But let's go ahead and give this a test over on the left hand side. Let's go ahead and preview form and we'll do a quick fill form. And here we have our completed form. As simple as that, we can add in our donation amount, enter in our card details, and we are good to go. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to use JotForm to create free electronic forms and get rid of those costly and time-consuming paper forms, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.